Hello, my royal lovelies, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome, of course, to my home. Now, today's video, I'll get straight into it without further ado. It's going to be a little bit of fun, and it's a video that I, or a subject that I've never spoken about here on this channel before, but I know a lot of you have been talking about on all the different social medias. So, let's get straight into it. I am, of course, talking about King Charles III's Aquary and Her Late Majesty's um, Major Johnny Thompson. Now, I know at the mere mention of that name, a lot of you will be swooning. Oh, my goodness, you'll be swooning. You'll need towels everywhere. I mean, he has been setting pulses racing. He really has. Whether you're male, female, whatever. My goodness, he has been setting the internet alight. A few moments have been going viral on all... And anyway, it's time for me to talk about him because there has been a recent story about him becoming a super equerry. Now, we'll get to what that means in a moment. So, in this video, I want to go through the basics. Who he is? What is an equerry? What is, if indeed anything at all, is a super equerry? Um, and... Why has King Charles chosen to keep him? All will make sense in a moment as we go through. So, first of all, I want to just take a look at some photos. Now, I will pop some photos up all the way throughout this video. My goodness, I mean, he's most notably known for wearing a kilt. Now, I have to say, kilts are rather... Shall I say, <laughs> they show off the legs, don't they? They show off a well-formed ankle and a well-formed calf. Um, and I do think he looks good. Some people look really good in a kilt. Or you, you either do or you don't. And he most definitely does. He is very, 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 very handsome indeed. Whether he's wearing his, his sort of uniform, the kilt, or indeed in a suit as well. There are lots of photos of him suited. So let's get straight um, into it. So he is of the 5th Battalion Royal Regiment of Scotland, hence the kilt, and has been King Charles III's equerry um, since obviously becoming monarch. And before then, he was equerry for Her Late Majesty. So he's been described as dashing. Now, I definitely think if, you know, if you think of kind of a traditional kind of Disney prince, you kind of imagine him, really, don't you? He kind of looks a little bit like Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid as well. Very dashing. Um, I do believe he's actually 39 years old. I'm not sure when he turns 40. Um, so he's just a little tiny fraction a bit younger than me. And I'm looking at photos and I'm thinking, why don't I look like that? You know, we're very similar age. Anyway, um, <laughs> so he has been in the public eye and has gained a lot of royal watching fans. Do let me know in the comments section if you are one of them. He has been dubbed on social media. Now, I really like this moniker. He's been dubbed as Major Eye Candy. Now, I, I really like that because, yes, he is Major Eye Candy, uh, but he's also a major, so Major Eye Candy. I love the play on words. Now, he came really into kind of public prominence um, surrounding the events of Her Late Majesty's passing. He was seen um, most notably. Um... So he joined, a little bit of background information on him, he joined the army in 2006 and is a platoon commander and is thought to have been working as an equerry with Charles since 2020. According to his LinkedIn profile, he graduated from Aberystwyth University in 2004 with a degree in economics and politics with international studies. Uh, while at university, he was a member of the undergraduate Officer Training Corps. Now, um, as I said, he was involved in Her Late Majesty's kind of funeral um, procession, uh, and he was there when her coffin was escorted from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall for that famous laying in state. He was also spotted, rather interestingly, escorting Liz Truss to meet King Charles at Buckingham Palace when she was Prime Minister for that very very, very brief moment. Um, so, uh, did he work for the Queen? 
Uh, he has worked for the royal household for a number of years. He was one of the late Queen's most senior bodyguards and was spotted at several events with her. Uh, first came to attention, as I said, as part of the Platinum Jubilee Thanksgiving service at St Paul's Cathedral in June of 2022. A lot of you... Now, actually, I'm going to go into a bit more detail, but I know a lot of you are going to be wondering, is he married? Does he have children? We'll get to that in a second. Um, what I wanted to do was actually backtrack and talk more about what an equerry, what that position and role actually is. So in the UK, equerries are appointed by working members of the royal family and are drawn from senior officers of the British Armed Forces. The role involves being in regular close attendance, both within the royal residence and outside on public engagement. So it's kind of a little bit like the traditional kind of ladies in waiting, only not ladies in waiting. Um, but, you know, even Her Late Majesty had aquaries and ladies in waiting as well. But kind of think of it in that kind of aspect. Um, the royal household also includes a number of extra aquaries. So remember that I was uh, talking about him being known as a super aquary. Well, he is actually leaving the British Armed Forces, which means that he cannot be a standard aquary. So the press has kind of got this terminology completely wrong. He's not going to be a super aquary. He's likely to become an extra aquary. But extra aquary doesn't um, have quite the same ring to it, does it? So they are honorary appointees drawn from among the current and retired senior officers of the royal household. Oh, imagine retiring at 40. Uh, they are comparatively rarely required for duty, but their attendance can be called upon if needed. Now, this is what I think King Charles will do. I think he will appoint a new equerry from the ranks of the armed forces. No idea who that is going to be at the moment. That will be very interesting to see. Uh, there are a few candidates, but, you know, King Charles could throw a complete curveball and have someone relatively unknown, but suitable for the role. So I think we will still see an equerry. Um, but I do think that Major Johnny Thompson will be called upon uh, to attend on the King quite frequently. I think King Charles kind of knows the value and importance in Major Johnny, the attention, but also he's very loyal. He's never obviously spoken um, against the royal family or out or revealed anything. So I do think that he will be kept very much, um, not just as an extra equerry for the occasional use, I think we'll be seeing him quite a lot. Uh, the Crown Equerry is in charge of the Royal Muse Department and holds a distinct office. Equerries, temporary equerries and extra equerries are entitled to wear aglets as part of their uniform. That's the rope, that kind of golden rope with the little pointy bits on. And I hope I've pronounced that correctly. I'm not sure I have. Um, and to wear the appropriate royal cipher below their badges of rank on the shoulder board or equivalent. Army officers serving as equerries or extra equerries may wear a distinctive cocked hat with red and white upright feathers when on duty in full dress uniform. Um, so I think that is all pretty self-explanatory. We now can go straight to the juicy goss. Is he married? Does he, does he have children? So I'm going to have to let guys and girls, I'm going to have to let you down. Unfortunately, he's married. He's off the market. Well, that's it. What am I going to do now? He got married uh, to Carolyn, who is a marketing manager, uh, who's a little bit older than him, 45, in 2010. So he's been married quite a long time. Together, they have a five-year-old son, as well as two black Labradors called Odin and Piper. Uh, Caroline was educated. We don't care about her, do we? I was going to read some information. I don't think we really care, do we? So anyway, we're going to skip down. <laughs> we don't want to know that she's worked as a gym instructor, do we? No. Um, so how long does an aquary serve? Usually about three years, but, you know, it depends. 
Uh, the role includes generally assisting His Majesty in his public duties and being known as his eyes and ears on the ground. Uh, so, for example, that means when you're on, for example, a royal walkabout or a tour, um, he might speak to people in the crowd, might direct the king to, you know, different elements of the crowd where he might want to be. Is there a child? Uh, is there somebody... Uh, who perhaps would need some attention, maybe someone's got some flowers or something to give. Um, so he kind of directs that. Um, so he he wears obviously a thick tartan kilt and large fur sporran, that's the kind of handbag or purse if you like at the front whilst on royal journey. I wonder what he keeps in his sporran. Let me know what you think he keeps in his sporran. Um, this is because he is a soldier from the 5th Scots Battalion of the Royal Regiment of Scotland. Um, all very self-explanatory. Um, so I do think that he's been a real asset to the royal family. Not often do kind of royal staff members, um, you know, ever kind of make it into the public consciousness. It helps that he's very handsome and tall and that he's showing off his legs. I think that absolutely helps. Um, like I say, he looks good in a kilt, in and out of uniform. Um, so yes, let me know your thoughts and comments below. Um, do you think that we should see more of Major Johnny Thompson and his legs? Uh, <laughs> Or do you think he should slip into obscurity now that he is retiring? From, and I'm not quite sure when either he is actually retiring. Uh, but anyway, um, so he's not going to be a super equerry. He's just going to be an extra equerry. Thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media. And of course, do hit that bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. From me to you all, and goodbye.